My name is Martinez Larson, and this is a video of our health and fitness appraisal completed on the 23rd of the 1st, 2022. This is Caleb. He awesome. will be helping with the appraisals, the uh, range of movement assessment, and on top of that, the muscular skeletal assessment and our VO2 max testing, our beat test. Alrighty, so Caleb, what we're going to go through today, man, yep. is a range of movements assessment. So this is a flexibility test and also mobility, so yep. um, seeing where you're at there. So I'll run through the first one, it's the Thomas test. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to simply lay on this bench, yep. legs into the floor, laying back, and in, in whatever leg I say to go up, I want it up 90 degrees or as far back as you can go, okay. whilst keeping this leg in. Yep. Beautiful. Alrighty. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah. What this is going to target muscle wise is the rectus uh, femoris, uh, the pectineus, the gracilis, the tensor fascia latae, and the hip flexor and quadriceps. Okay. Oh, yeah. Awesome. So if I can get your left, your left knee up, please. Yep. So your left knee is of 90 degrees, that's perfect, and your hips are at 180. That is really good mobility right there. So you've got good, um, you've got good movement in your hips. So I'll just get that left knee down and that right knee up there. Okay. That's really good. Foot is planted. Your hips are, yep, 180 degrees, 180 degrees as well. And also just taking into note your your, uh, your ribs as well, they're not lifting up, trying to move move parts of your hips in an awkward state. So that is really good. Awesome, we are going to move on to the next one now. Yeah. Okay. Right. So next one, Caleb, is the lying hamstring stretch. Yep. Obviously, we're gonna be seeing uh, the flexibility of the hamstring. Okay, so again, I am going to get you to, actually, I'll get you to lay on the ground. So yep. we'll just get you down here. Yep, no worries. Beautiful. And what's going to happen is <laughs> we are going to get the dog out. All right, Caleb. So the next range of movement assessment we're going to do is the lying hamstring stretch. So that is going to be uh, determining the flexibility of your hamstring. Yep. All right. So I will get you on the ground. Okay. I'll just get you. Yep. Lie. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. Straight back. And I am simply going to aim. The, the goal is to have it 80 degrees or further back, Okay. all right? And the entire time, we would like your hips to be neutral as much as we can, and I will come up, and I will take your left leg. Yeah. Your ankle, yeah. hold your knee straight. We are simply, good, that's relatively good. We can work on your flexibility a bit more, Yep. all right? You might be just tired from previous Previous sports that you've done from the next last few days. Yep. Again, just gonna see how far you are. And that, a little bit more, and that will be it there. So that's 80 degrees, pretty spot on. So as soon as your other leg starts lifting, naturally with your hips, your hamstrings start pulling, yep. uh, then we can see that's your uh, determined range of movement there. Yeah. All right. Cool. Alrighty, so the next one, Caleb, for the range of movement assessment is a uh, lying shoulder flexing test. So what this is going to be uh, looking at is the range of movement with our latissimus uh, dorsis, which is our lats, okay. nicknamed lats. Uh, also our pectorial, pectorialis major, so our chest, um, as well as other, other components. But I won't get into that for you, I'll just get straight into the test. Okay. So, uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to get you lying on this bench, please. Yep. Yep, that's it. So the entire time, feet planted on the ground, hips are uh, nice and stationed, neutral, um, and you're going to have your right arm up. And I want you to go all the way or as far back as you can. Awesome. Holding there, and I'm noticing here your ribs are not lifting, which is really good. So it's not it's not um, connected in any form of way in a, in a negative uh, way. So I'm gonna get your arm back up. Yep, beautiful. And changing arms. Yep, and bringing it back. Ribs are still good. Excellent. You have 80 degrees plus. Uh, movement mobility, which is really, really good. Okay, there's always room for improvement with 
flexibility, but this is actually a really good indicator. So bring your arm back. Beautiful. And we're going to use both arms now. So both arms straight up and going all the way back. Good, good, good. Naturally, you will have movement in the diaphragm, the rib, rib cage area. It's perfectly normal right there, but they aren't lifting due to tension within your lats. So that is perfectly good. Awesome, mate. Let's move on to the next one. All right, Caleb, so last one for the range of movement assessment. We are going to get into our sit and reach test. Yep. So again, another flexibility test. Uh, what it's going to be targeting is your lumbar, your, your dorsus, so your lower back, lower back region, and um, also your hamstrings. Yep. Like what we were just testing previously in the lying hamstring test. So I'm going to get you seated on the ground. Yep. Just legs out straight, if I can have your legs flat on the ground, that's perfect. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to have your legs just spread a little bit, and I'm going to put a ruler in case you go over your flexibility, your, um, your height, uh, the length of your legs, sorry. And I'm going to get you to go, how are you feeling right now? Are you feeling any tension in your hamstrings as, we, as we're sitting right now? Um, not very much. Not really? That's good. So this is what we call, well, some people call stage one. Okay. So stage two, I'll just get you to go halfway on your shins. How are we feeling? Pretty tight? Yeah. Getting tight. Yeah. Alright then, too easy. And then moving on to our feet. Good. And then as far forward as we can go. Okay. That's about it. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Look, that is good. That's a good that, uh, good flexibility, good movement. Um, we obviously can work on your flexibility a bit more. But for now, that is actually better than most. Okay. So don't take it to heart. Again, other factors can be from your training that yep. you do. So you're probably tight from your training. Yeah. Might not have cooled down properly, just a bit tense. Perfectly normal. Awesome. On to the next. Alrighty, so next on the agenda, we're going to do a max push up test. Uh, the muscle groups that will be tested in this, Caleb, are your biceps, triceps, upper and middle back. Uh, muscles, your shoulder muscles, and your chest muscles. Yep. So, chest protocols, you're going to start and stand down push up position. Okay. Um, males on their toes, so I'll get you on your toes, you're yep. fairly fit fella. Um, and as you raise the body, uh, so raise the body and return until the chin touches the floor. Yep. Okay. Form the maximum amount of uh, push ups without any rest. Okay. And then uh, the test will stop when you will. Uh, sorry. Yes, so the test is stopped when you're unable to maintain your two push-ups. Okay. Um, sweet, I will take record again. In this position, and our chin will touch the ground. Yep. And then back up. Alright, be beautiful. Alright, so whenever you're ready, mate, we'll get straight into it. That's good, keep it up. Jump to 20, 21, and two. So, all right, Caleb, next up on the agenda, we're gonna do a VO2 max test. So, it is a big test, as they call it. Yep, we will be using a very popular app. And what happens is, see that red cone there? Yep. And then, pointing to that red cone over there as well. Okay. That is your distance that you will be running. So, you will be doing shuttle runs. It is a distance of 20 meters. Okay. Okay, you will be doing it on the feet of the app. Yep. As you progressively go on, the feet will go faster okay. and faster and faster. Um, so I'll just go through some of the purposes. So uh, this uh, the beat test is a maximal test where one can elevate, you know, large groups or in, in, individual.
school school middle, middle of course. So um, again, it's just it's a really effective test, all right, to really get you going and also to again, check your VO2 max. Um, yep, the test will start at a slow pace. I don't think should be great. Um, what else? The score. Uh, we will um, we will go through the score. I will also give you this. This is a Garmin. They can calibrate your heart rate. Okay. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to add in a standard uh, equation, and we're going to calculate your VO2 max. Yeah. Right. So if you can just put that there, just turn your wrist. Awesome. So on there, your heart rate will pop up on the bottom left, and we can get into it. If you feel lightheaded or anything, just stop immediately. Yeah. All right. So starting from that jump right there. And we're starting. Four, three, two, one, and let's go. Actually, the really cool thing about Garmin's man is that they can uh, see your absorption of oxygen. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so cool. That Garmin just rocks. Level four. All right, level four.
Level five. Seven. You're at level eight. Level 
Yeah, boy, he 